really good. Top five pizzas I've ever had in the Philippines. Guys, I never expected this in the Philippines. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to Bali. It's just so beautiful that I can really live here. She said it'll make me look more majestic. I am beauty. I am elegant. I am Bali. So every morning, this is just a like a fun extra. Trivia. Trivia. So every morning when we wake up, I always hear this sound outside our hotel. And I'm like, what is that? I'm guessing I'm guessing it's like um, a campaign song or something. And then we arrived here at Coco Deli and I saw this garbage truck there. And that's the one something, making that something, sound. Something, something, basura. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's we literally hear it every single morning. Yeah, it's just so interesting. I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. Now we're on to our greatest adventure yet. Exploring the jaw-dropping municipalities of Coron and Buswanga in the province of Palawan. Isa and I are having our lunch at Poco Deli, which is very close to our hotel actually, and it's another one of the spots here in Coron that was recommended by our hotel. Looking at the menu, the most expensive one so far that they've recommended. We're gonna try another one tonight. I don't know, looking around, all the food looks great. Isa I ordered this banana shake, which is, it's tall. I don't know if you can see compared to my face. So it's expensive, but um, it seems bigger than a lot of the mango shakes, or not mango, this one's banana, shakes in general that we see. So maybe it's worth it. We'll let you know how it is. We just ordered a pepperoni pizza, which is kind of rare for us. We normally get Hawaiian, but he's always been coming around on the pepperoni a little bit more recently. I know this is stupid, but it just tastes like drinking a banana. Like it tastes just like banana. I want to express again one last time how bad that drive is that we did. Coming home was even worse. Oh my god. My hands, there's still, I don't know if you can see it, a red line on both hands from gripping the brake. Oh, jeez. Me. Hello. You're so adorable. What's your name? We transferred outside. Our pizza is here. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Really good. This is in the top, top five pizzas I've ever had in the Philippines. Easy. Seven days ago on our first day here in Coron, we climbed Mount Tapias. 721 steps at sunset. I think it's fun to end the adventure how it began. So today we're driving about 45 minutes to get to Mount Talapai because it is our final full day here in Goron. We leave tomorrow. I mean, we'll be here tomorrow, but we leave then. Apparently the road there is all the way paved. I hope that's true because if you saw our last video, uh, I don't need any more of that right now. <laughs> side of Goro. This is the north side. We haven't seen this side at all. This is the Trans Central Highway. <laughs> Trans Central Highway of Goro. Yeah, it looks like God. Trans Central Highway of Sydney. God, dang. Trans Central Highway doesn't have views like this though. I know. But Holy still. crap. But yeah, it's like snaky through the mountains. For sure. Bro. 
Why does this just get better and better? this in the Philippines. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one of you are coming home with us? Oh, look at him. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, so cute. We just arrived here at Mount Talapay. This is where we'll be spending our sunset, which it is happening soon. Golden hours anytime. Looks like we actually made it here perfect time. You just saw that warm welcome from those pigs. You know we're in the right spot. Hi, Mimi. That is an interesting color. Yeah, I like your color, Mimi. Like, why is that cat hanging out with you? I don't know. She likes me. <laughs> she can tell you're a cat person. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Welcome to Mount Talapay. This is our lesser known spot for this whole trip because I did not read this or see this in any video or blog i literally found it just by looking at the map maybe people come here like tourists but there doesn't look to be any other at least foreign tourists here currently it faces the sunset directly this yeah. this looks like the perfect sunset spot the it's, drive here it's beautiful <laughs> it's beautiful magic i mean even if you just did the drive and didn't even come to this spot yeah. it's worth it that so, was yeah so oh, beautiful literal magic So we're exploring around the area and I've noticed that they have a lot of cottages. So it seems like you can stay here overnight, I think. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, it's like, what would be these cottages are? They don't look like they're houses, like someone's really living in there. So yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty cool. And you got, you got the view. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. <laughs> Hello! Hey, do you want to be our friend? I need to disclose one thing if you're going to be our friend. I have eaten thousands of your kind. Literally thousands. Hi! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect! Yeah. They've got so much here. Just walk and there's just more and more stuff yeah. everywhere. Like <laughs> you can take sides. pictures anywhere. Welcome to Bali. There's an egg? Yeah. Oh, whose egg is this? Maybe we can feed it to that cat. Nice dance. TikToker in the making. <laughs> It's the eye of Sauron. Look at Izai trying to pose. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> Izai just said she doesn't want to do the butterfly because it's lame. But I'm not scared. I'll do it. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I finally came out of my cocoon here at Mount Talapai. Does it look lame? Yeah. Oh, okay. Izai, do you know what this one's for? You can't tell? It took me a minute as well. You're supposed to bring your own lock and lock it here. Like they do, I remember seeing it at Namsan Tower when I was in Korea. They do it in a few places. But clearly people just don't know about it or they don't realize. There's one here only. It's kind of cool. Now that you guys know what you're supposed to do here, I would love 
to come back here someday and see it full of locks. Also, there's some kind of animal back here that keeps making a noise. It sounds like a mix between a cat and a bird. I'm not sure if we're about to see like a flying cat, which I guess is kind of like a squirrel, but I really do want to know what's making that sound. There's so many... Actually, speaking of squirrels, there are squirrels here in Palawan, or in Coron. This is the only place where there's squirrels in the Philippines. And I saw one earlier today on our way to Marcelia Beach. He's I was looking the other way though, unfortunately. How's that side? It's nice? Oh yeah, you wanna swing? Yeah, but I wanna bring my wife Okay, we still got time, let's go get our stuff. We left our stuff all the way over there because it seems like in Coron, I mean, even our tricycle driver mentioned like there's no crime in Coron. And so far from what we've seen, everything seems very safe here, but let's go back and see if our stuff's gone, then we know. Isa, you have to build suspense in the vlog. <laughs> the title, our stuff could have been stolen in Coron. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but they serve food here. A lot of like very local Filipino food only by the looks of it, which is great if you like Filipino food, one, or two, if you're wanting to try Filipino food that you haven't tried before. I'll show you the menu just over here. Uh, Isai is telling me that that is breakfast food, Filipino breakfast food. <laughs> this hand is just cracking me up. I really like that hen. It's just the most friendly hen I've ever met. I really hope they don't eat it because it's such a sweet... I have a selfie with that hen. nice actually yeah at the back even in front it looks cool really? yeah <laughs> you having fun yeah. <laughs> let me try it before we go to the other one okay wear this one as well <laughs> wear that as well <laughs> oh my god this guy made me wear this guys swing dream of cody she said it'll make me look more majestic <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am beauty. I am elegance. I am Bali. <laughs> Guys, actually though, like... All jokes aside, it's not just like pictures and everything that you see on Instagram. Hold on, I'll be back. It's the, it's actually really beautiful. Like it's really fun to just swing here and like look out at this view. It's kind of incredible. <laughs> My camera woman's doing a lot of work right now. Okay, let's try the other one. There's okay. another one on the other side. Fortunately guys, the other swing over here doesn't look really usable as a swing because of that tree right there. It's way too close. Kind of blows because look at this view. In this entire trip, 
We are actually almost always lucky to have the place all to ourselves like as a tourist except for of course the locals who are maintaining the place but as tourists pretty much all the time we have the area all to ourselves when we pulled up earlier there were i think two or three other groups that came with us and then they just left right away so right now it's just the both of us Cody and i we're really enjoying this place this is so beautiful i'm normally not a fan of areas that are that are too secluded like it feels like it's just me and cody but i don't know with this place it's just so beautiful that i can really live here i can imagine myself building a house here and then have our cats it's just beautiful it's so peaceful you can even hear birds chirping this is a perfect way of ending our quran trip to be honest this is the spot of that the best view of that island whatever island that is over there all the way to the right as far right as you can go this is where you can see it really really clear nothing in the way there it goes almost gone the sun's pretty much gone you can just see that little bit of color left it started really setting right as i was like I was about to bring the drone back. I'm getting some more shots because this is one of the best drone flights I've had this entire... Actually, honestly, this entire weekend... Or not weekend. It's been a week. This entire week, the drone shots have been amazing. So I was just flying it and I happened to look up and notice all like the colors over there and it was setting. I'm like, oh my god, I'm missing it. Though it's not actually really the end. It kind of is. This is the last big spot we're going to, but we're going to go back to town and we're going to go to a place called Sharky's to eat. I don't know if it's any good. But looking forward to doing that tonight and then we still have a little time in the morning though a lot of it will probably be spent packing <laughs> guys look at this Ezai. <laughs> the animals wanted food so she bought which one is that nova? nova she bought some chips to feed them and they they ate it <laughs> that cat is very demanding i guess it's because she's lactating you can see oh is she so she yeah. just gave birth you think yeah oh. she's very hungry You doggies. Hmm. Also, just for your own information, if you want to have pretty much the same experience we had and you're staying in Coron Town, we left Coron Town at right about 4 p.m. That gives you enough time to get up here, spend a lot of time running around, seeing everything, and then also see the sunset. If you don't want as much time seeing everything and you just want the sunset, maybe 4.30, 4.40, something like that, to leave Coron Town, to head here. Honestly, this is like the best meal I've had in Coron. So many like just little places to eat. This is just one small area. This is another street that we haven't walked before. Our egg sandwiches have arrived and this is uh, significantly bigger than I expected. <laughs> Boarding Naoi to Cebu. 